Today, we're gonna to be cleaning my Triumph T100 using the Muck Off Motorcycles Essential Kit. So this is what comes with the Motorcycles Essential Kit from Muckoff. So you get your motorcycle cleaner, you get a sponge, you also get your motorcycle protectant for when you finish, your chain cleaner, a brush, and also a little spray head for your uh, motorcycle cleaner. Other things to add to this list would be two buckets as we're gonna go the two bucket method rather than a pressure washer, and we'll need a microfiber cloth to wipe it down as well. The reason why we clean our motorcycles, although it can be scary as it was for me, I was too scared to clean it because I thought I would scratch up the paint because I didn't know the process. So we're giving you this video in order to help you better understand how to clean your bike. One of the things that I want to say in the terms of the reason why we clean a bike is so that we can check for anything that's either rusting or corroding or for the certain parts that are broken, uh, but also to maintain it's a uh, rigidity in terms of whether things are rusting, as I said, uh, to clean that off and prevent it from actually happening in, happening in the future. So a good time to do this is when it's an overcast day like today, because we don't want it too bright that when the water dries up on the tank, it dries too quickly and ends up leaving water marks all over the tank and other parts of the bike, which can get a bit annoying. So today's the perfect day. Let's get straight into it. If you're unfamiliar with why we have two buckets for the two bucket method, it's just basically because we have one that's a clean bucket and one that's a dirty bucket. This is in order to keep the dirt at a minimal. So when we have our sponge, we put it into the clean bucket before applying it onto the tank. And then once we take it off the tank, you put it into the dirty bucket to wash. And then you do that same process. This is just to minimize dirt ending up on the sponge and ending up scratching our tank. So for the first process, we try and wash down the bike, just rinse it down quickly, just to try and encourage some of the dirt to come off uh, before we start spraying on the muck off cleaner, just like so. Don't worry, the bikes are built to be able to withstand cold weather and wet weather, so don't be afraid to spray it all over the bike. Now, once that's done, let's shut off the water quickly and then start spraying on our motorcycle cleaner uh, across the whole of the bike. So while that's on there, we'll leave it just to work its way and work its magic for the next couple of minutes. And then what, I'll, what I personally like to do is I will rinse it off after the two minutes and then I'll reapply again. And then after that, we can start working in our sponge to get into all the nooks and crannies. As you can see from the initial wash off already, it's already taken quite a lot of the grime off, which I'm quite surprised about. And um, so that's already working its way through. And I wouldn't leave it there, of course, but we can now move on to adding some more of the motorcycle cleaner across all of this and start working our way around the bike with the sponge. Now with the supplied sponge, we'll drop it into the clean bucket and start working our way around the bike. Starting off with the bits that are more susceptible to scratches, like your tanks and the side panels. And then we'll move on to the bits that are a bit more robust and can handle maybe a few scratches. But hopefully with this two bucket method, we can minimize that risk. Now that we've done our first run over the tank uh, with the clean sponge, we can now drop it into the dirty bucket to try and rinse it off. Back into the clean bucket and back onto the tank again. Again, just, this is just in order to minimize the risk of scratching the paintwork on your beautiful little bike, like this one. <laughs> So now that we're moving away from all the paintwork and stuff like that, we're getting into the nitty gritty parts where there actually is a lot of dirt and muck on the bike. And as you can tell, this is the reason why I stay away from the paintwork. Um, I stay away from the outer portions that get really dirty first uh, and do the paintwork first instead, purely because of all this dirt buildup when we're doing the two bucket method. Uh, I don't want all this muck to go onto the tank. So everything has to be methodically done in a way that it doesn't damage your bike and keep it as tip top condition as possible. So we are now moving on to the nitty gritty part. So like the frame, the exhaust and all the other mucky places around this bike. Now, 
Now with our microfiber cloth, we want to just work away this excess residue on our tank and what have you in any other part of the bike. With this microfiber cloth that is, just do it lightly, don't press too hard. Again, we don't want to scratch our tank or anything else around here. Um, starting off with the paintwork again and then your handlebars and everything else that's susceptible to a lot of scratching. We'll do that first with a microfiber cloth, clean it off and then um, possibly if possible, just uh, I'll get another microfiber cloth to wipe down the rest of the bike as well. But yeah, we have to work it in to just get this layer of residue off of the bike and then we can move on to putting on the motorcycle protector from Makoff as well. Now finally we'll move on to the post wash with this motorcycle protectant. It literally just takes out all the residue and water uh, away from the different components on the bike and it just acts as a kind of sealant in a way to protect your whole motorcycle. Uh, you just spray this everywhere and anywhere that you have seen uh, see fit and it should be all ready and done for your next wash. It should last for a little while and then that'll be us all wrapped up. And there you have it, all clean and finished using only the motorcycle essential kit from Makoff. I've done a pretty good job. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions on where I could improve my cleaning capabilities, leave them down in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, give us a like. Make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with everything Infinity Motorcycles. Ride safe and see you all soon.